Baby, did you like the movie? I mean, I thought it was pretty good. It was okay. Yeah, well, dinner was cool, though, right? <sighs> Salmon was dry, but overall it was filling, I guess. Well, hey, you know, I mean, money's tight these days. <sighs> I'm still trying to keep you happy, though. <laughs> yeah, well, I'll keep trying. I don't know why you're taking this route anyway. Just look, turn down the street right here. Alicia, right here. No, right here. Alicia, you know the police, they be all up and down that street, huh? Even at this time of night. Look, just do it. God, you never listen to me. I don't, just, just, just drive the way I tell you to drive, all right? Okay. But you know, the last thing I need is another ticket these days. Okay, I mean, it's dark, but the coast seems clear. Of course it's clear. <laughs> what? What did I do? Yeah, what did you do, Eric? You're always doing something wrong. Both hands on the steering wheel. All right. <laughs> I'm just on a date with my girl, man. Um, did I do something wrong? I'll ask the questions. Now, do you know why I pulled you over? Wasn't because I was speeding, was I? Was he? No. Well, it couldn't be because I'm riding with a white woman because she's only half white. License, registration, proof of insurance, please. All right, well, I, I got to take my hands off the steering wheel. Slowly. <laughs> It'll probably just be a warning. I'll be right back. You know, it's, there's always policemen on the street. I know that. I knew I shouldn't have let you drive. I'm sure it'll let me off for the morning, you know? I need you to sign this. Sign? What? I don't even know what I did. Have a nice day. Well, what's the charge, genius? Impeding the flow of traffic? What traffic? I'm a victim of DWB. Well, you just had to go mess up the night, didn't you, Poindexter? Mess up the night? Wait a minute, it's... <laughs> I'm the one that got pulled over for driving too slow. Hey, you know what, I don't normally pull the race card, but I don't see no probable cause for that cop to be stopping me. Oh, let me stop you right there. The probable cause is that you're always too cautious and conservative. 
And we both know you can't afford a ticket right now, Mr. Unemployed. But damn, why you gotta kick me when I'm down? I mean, so what? I got laid off. We're cutting back on jobs, you know? It's the signs of times. Yeah, that Not was a month ago, Eric. Well, I'm interviewing. I mean, I, and I'm pretty positive some things are gonna pan out, too. You know, I mean, the economy's turning around and, and the change is gonna come. <laughs> You're right, Eric. I think it's time for a change. That's what I'm talking about. Now, see, I was thinking redecorating, you know, reinventing myself, changing some paintings. We're gonna get it nice and grown and sexy in here, huh? I mean, we're both getting older, right? You know, Eric, that's not exactly the type of change I was talking about. Oh. Yeah, we're both getting older. And I think it's time that I cash in my chips on something a bit more substantial before it's too late. I'm knocking loudly on the door of 30, Eric. I didn't know you were into gambling. I mean, I, I just didn't know. You never really told me. What's your game? Poker? Blackjack? Yeah, uh, Eric, I've gambled a whole two years on you. And I need to fold before it's too late. You know, they say black folks are supposed to stick together in times like these. That's what they say. Kumbaya, my lord. Kumbaya. Come on. Kumbaya, my lord. Kumbaya. Sing with me. Come on, it feels good. Eric. Kumbaya. Eric! You just don't get it, do you, darling? I gotta go. Claire wouldn't have walked out on Cliff. Honey, Cliff was paid. You know, sometimes I wish I was born Jewish. Eric Brown. He is I and I am him. <laughs> Slim with no tilted brim. <laughs> Mr. Cohen, the hiring manager, is ready for you. <laughs> Great. Well, please follow me. All right. Yes. Eric Brown. Rob Cohen. So, what was your impression? Oh, this is a great company. No, I know that. Um, I did a lot of research. <laughs> <laughs> I don't mean about the company. I mean, we'll get around to that. Oh. I mean about Kim. Kim? Kim? Oh, sh she's nice. Yeah, um, very pleasant. Oh, come on, bro. You know what I'm talking about? <laughs> uh, I know. You're just here for the job. <laughs> I just want to let you know, though, that if I hire you, mm -hmm. you can't... You know... No, sir, no, no. Um, believe me, my focus is so far from that. Uh, I, I'm, I don't even advocate, you know, workplace romance. Mm -hmm. Yes. Anyway. 
So, do you have a resume? Yes. Yes. <laughs> Here you go. Well, Eric, you're already ahead of the game. Most candidates who walk through that door don't even bring a copy of their resume with them. Well, I'd like to be prepared. Good. Yeah, girl, he didn't even call me back. I wonder why. Oh, let me call you back in the lunch, okay? Hi. Hi. Who are you here to see? I'm here for an interview with Mr. Cohen. Oh, just as I thought. Just have a seat and we'll be right with you shortly. Uh, thank you, ma'am. Alex. Eric. <laughs> hey, man. Hey, hey. Don't tell me you're here for the account executive's job. Uh, I think you just told you. Oh, wow. <laughs> well, hopefully one of us get it. Right. Hey, there you go. Yeah, OK. Cool, cool. So you holding up OK? <sighs> Brother, I got no other choice, right? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Mm. We should hang out sometime. Maybe go get a drink or something. You, uh, you still got my cell number? Yeah, yeah, it's on the old employee contact list, right? There you go. Okay, cool. Well, good luck, I guess. <laughs> All right, Take care. All right. <laughs> Is that my L7 relative? Gosh. Hey, shh. What's up? We talking like that over here, nigga. That's blasphemy. You'll fuck around and get your noodles knocked off, man. Oh, shit. I forgot where I was, man. I'm sorry. Hey, what you doing over here anyway? I, I had a job interview around the corner. So I had to get my sugar fix. You want one? Hell yeah, you be some of them motherfuckers, nigga. Good looking. Yeah. Hey, um, job interview? Yeah. Nigga, you, you always keep a job, nigga. You out of work? Yeah, man. I mean, the company downsized and I got laid off. Man, that's the same shit my old slave told me three years ago. Fuck it. Nigga like me just pimp my unemployment for like 18 months. When that shit ran out, your boy started supplementing his income with, you know, various business ventures. You know, you tired <laughs> niggas know what I'm talking about. Yeah. <laughs> Fuck yeah. a recession, you yeah. feel me? Yeah, no. You gonna be all right, though. You got that college degree. You know mm -hmm. what I'm talking about? You're going to be straight, man. But in the meantime, mm -hmm. if you need a little short-term loan or something, you know you can holler at me. I'm kind of like the hood lender. You feel me? Dante, you, you a loan shark, too? Call it what you want, nigga. But if you need that bread, fuck with me. I'm going to give you the family discount, you know what I'm saying? Half off interest rates, you know what I'm talking about? Yeah. <laughs> I fucks with you, my All nigga. All right. OK. Fuck with me, man. All right. Well, I'll take that into consideration. For sure, nigga. Hey, and what happened to that bad bitch you was fucking with the little light skin son, man? Look like Maria Carey, man. Me, John, John, George, Pete, everybody wanted to fuck that bitch. We was looking at her, you brought her to the barbecue, niggas was on that bitch. I wanted to slam that bitch. Man, I was we like, broke up, man. That bitch. Oh, you broke up with yeah. her? Oh, shit, that's cool. You might as well go home and let your boy take that for a test drive. Slide your nigga that number, man. Slide me that number, man. Ain't no fun if blood can't have none. You love her, don't you? I'm just playing with you. I'm just messing with you. I'm just messing with you, my nigga. Come Are you, on, man. Uh, no, no, I, no, I'm, I'm tripping. Yeah. I know you're playing. OK. I'm going to go in here and get this milk, because right. this bitch is going to start blowing me up. And I don't okay. feel like hearing it. I got to be in for the street lights. Come on. I got you. OK. But look here. I got big love for you, E. Hey, I love you, too. Ever since we was little, man, we was little tiny niggas. You know what I'm saying? I got love for you, man. If you, if you need that bread, mm -hmm. you need some kush. Mm -hmm. If you need some work put in for, on your behalf, you know what I'm talking about? Like, you need a nigga laid down, you know what I'm talking about? Colombian necktie, nigga come through the ski mask way with the AR, you know what I'm talking about? Nigga got silent shit, you know what I'm talking about? Really just do niggas bad blocks, whatever, come up to your job. Or you ain't got no job. I'm cool. But when you um, get a job, if you need me to, I'll come up there and... Yeah, no, I'm good. I'm good, D. For sure. Thanks, Holler. though. All right. Tell yep. A.T. Jackie I said, what's up? Okay. 
Hey, you know I do that plumbing too, my nigga. Cool, D. Show. What took your ass so long? You didn't go stop off and get some dome from one of your ratty ass clients, did you? You always gotta say some stupid shit, man. I stopped and hollered at my cousin Eric, man. The nigga was at the store. That bougie ass Negro in this neighborhood? Yeah, right. Man, that's what I'm saying. Nigga say he was just pushing through real quick though on the way back from a little job interview or something. Oh, really? <laughs> then maybe you could learn something from him. Oh, you upwardly mobile motherfucker. It's funny, but some kind of way the bills stay getting paid around this motherfucker. You ain't never seen no red notice. I guess. I guess. And I guess you ain't got no problem smoking my motherfucking good shit. Girl, you better stay out of my stash, man. That's my good shit, man. And if I don't? Let me hear something. Just let me hear something. Mm-mm. Sorry, bruh. You gotta get your own. Ain't that a bitch. <laughs> Charlize. Ron is playing. Yeah, hey, baby. You better act right, Ron. Whatever, fool. Hurry up! Shit. Blow that shit out! Look, look, check this out. You know what? Speaking of blowing, I had seen this little video on the internet earlier. Was looked like a little two-fisted flute technique. Didn't you tell me you played uh, uh some? What you play in high school? Are you kidding me? I'm just, saying, just gonna hook me up. Let's take it to the bathroom for a minute. Nigga, you crazy. <laughs> but I guess since I'm in a good mood, you know, I might can hook you up. Yeah, and after that you can hook up that cornbread with that milk I just brought back. Get your ass up and cook something. Hurry up. I guess, for sure. But um, could you pass me that blunt back, though? Pass these nuts. So, Kim, tell me a little bit more about yourself. What else is there to know, Gary? How about... What else do you like to do besides eat? Well, let's see, I like to travel and shop. Okay, is that it? Yep, pretty much. Oh, excuse me. Yes. Yes, how can I help you? Yes, I'd like to order something to go, please. Let me get you the dessert menu. Oh, no. I'd like to order the jambalaya with extra shrimp and uh, a side of macaroni and cheese. Would you like some cornbread with that? It's dollar fifty extra. Yeah, that sounds good. Um, three of those. Four. Four. Four, yeah. Can I get anything, please, sir? Uh, no, thank you. Just a check, please. Damn, Kim. So you've obviously come out very hungry tonight. Do you plan on having a late night snack or something? No, lunch for tomorrow. Lunch? Mm-hmm. Okay. So where are we going next? Movie? Show? Damn. We going half on this? We going haul on you. How about hole up in you?
What's wrong? This situation is what's wrong. What do you mean? I can't go on being just a booty call. <laughs> what are you talking about? Alex, you know exactly what I'm talking about. You've only taken me out twice since the first time we met. Well, you know, money's a little tight these days. Doesn't have to be much. An occasional movie night, a walk on the beach, something. Why haven't I met any of your friends yet? I don't have many friends. Liar, liar, liar. Alex, I'm done. I'm more than a piece of ass. I'm done settling for less. Good night, Alex. Well, I guess a new spot on a roster just opened up. I gotta clean my bathroom every time a woman comes over. Look at this. They act like they can never come in a damn bathroom without leaving a DNA. Shit. Oh. stick on the tissue paper. Player's work is never done. sucks. Neither of us got that job we interviewed for. Yeah, that would have been nice to work under that chick Kim, you feel me? Oh, yeah. Ha, <laughs> yes. Yeah, she was cute. In a mature kind of way, you know. Man, you know, I hope we at least get a call back from one of those employers in there. I must have put in 20 resumes or something. I don't know about these old job fairs anyway. Huh? Uh, sometimes they can be a waste of time. Oh. But I appreciate you putting me on, though. You know. Oh, yeah, you know, no problem, man. No problem. I mean, you know, one can only hope for so much, you know? Yeah. Like three months severance pay and, and unemployment. That's only take you so far, right? Three months? Yeah. You got three months? Yeah, didn't you? No, they only gave me two. Damn, rat bastards. Damn. Well, I'm sure it was because, you know, I probably worked there a little bit before you. Yeah, that's what it was. Mm -hmm. All right. Say, you still uh, seeing that little light-skinned honey dip we brought to the Christmas party last year? Um, nah, man, we broke up recently. Mm. Hey. Ooh, that was a bad broad there. Mm. Yeah, thanks. Oh, that's for the best, anyway. Relationships, too expensive. Well, dating ain't any cheaper. You kidding me? No, I mean... <laughs> Let me tell you something. You know, you need to get back out there more. Oh, man, come on. I mean, I can tell you all hurt up inside. <laughs> can see it coming out of your pores. What? <laughs> really? Yeah, you need to date more. And see, new booty will dry those tears. Get out there and date. And the first key to dating is to be creative. You see, creativity will help you supplement excessive spending. Now, unemployed or not, we never want to waste time or money. So how do I do that, man? I mean, be creative. Well, you start by talking to every fine woman that you see. Oh, man. Then you have little icebreaker dates. Starbucks, beaches, parks, and any other low cost of free shit. See, you never want to get caught up spending 50 or $60 on some date that's not going to end up leading to you hitting it. Trust me. Damn, Alex, I never knew you were such a lady killer. Unfortunately, we can't write bad dates off on our taxes. We got to make sure we get the most bang for our buck. Yeah, 
I got you. And you smoke out any girls who's not putting out. You know, no problem. And even then, once you do get them in bed, then you want to make sure that you never spend more than $40 on a date. Anything more is ridiculous. Okay. No, I mean, thanks for the information, man. Yeah, no problem. Brother, it's war out there. War. Say, I feel like getting a bite. You want to get something to eat? Yeah. No, I'm hungry. Yeah, let's do yeah. it. Yeah, let's go. Let's spot up it. Okay. <sighs> war. It's war, brother. So what are you going to be doing on your free weekend? Girl, I'm just happy to be child free. I think I might just relax. No hot dates on the books? With kids, dating is hard. The caliber of men that I like just don't want a woman with two kids in the twilight of her life. Hmm. On that note, I shall sip. Deborah, you are way too hard on yourself, girl, for real. Ask me would I trade places with you. All Wait right. a minute. Ask me after about two more of these and I'll give you an honest answer. <laughs> girl, I don't think you want to trade places with my $32,000 a year making ass anyway. On that note, I shall drink. No. Remember, my boss is a Jew. <laughs> what about your dating prospects? Oh, I've been dating a lot. But see, my primary purpose for dating right now is to supplement my income. What? Oh, no, hold on. I got my dude that I'm cool with. We're not committed or anything, but we get together when I need to give me a little peace, you know. <laughs> now, the rest of the guys, that's where I get my free meals and my entertainment off of. Don't you think that's kind of scandalous? <laughs> not at all. Child, I ain't forcing none of these guys to take me out. If they gonna ask me, then shoot, I'ma take a free date. It's kind of fun, actually. Well, I suppose you can do that sort of thing when you're single. Well, think about it like this. If I'm going out at least three times a week, how much you think I'm saving on my grocery bill, girl? Shoot, now you know how hard it is out here for a sister these days. I see your point. But what do you do when they want to get some? That's when they get cut off. <laughs> Yeah. yeah. At least you're dating. Most of the men I go out with, once they find out I have two kids, they don't call anymore. But I can't say that I blame them because if they really got it going on, why would they want to be bothered with my baggage? Girl, now you got this nice house, you got a good job, and your kids. All you really need is a decent brother to come and service your account from time to time. <laughs> <laughs> right? I suppose you're right. I've done the marriage thing. Now it's time for it to be about me. Yes. <laughs> That's right. You see, the promenade is the perfect place to troll for bras. You know, we only looking for black women. And I see you talk to every fine woman you see. Black women, white women, mm. Asian women, mm. Latino women. <laughs> the goal is to conquer all four corners of the earth. Yeah. Ooh, I like to hit that. Now see, man, I only, I only dated black women, so I wouldn't know what to say to the others. No, you say the same thing to the others as you say to black women. See, the good thing is the others generally turn you down with more dignity and tact and less attitude. Oh, okay. Oh, take note. Take note. Excuse me. Excuse me. Hey, how are you doing? I'm fine, thank you. Good. Um, nice colors. <laughs> yeah, we match. <laughs> yeah, and maybe meant to be. <laughs> yeah, maybe. And I know you're shopping and everything. I just wanted to introduce myself. Hi, my name's Alex. Hi, Alex. I'm Kate. Nice to meet you. As in Jackson, right? That's right. Ah, <laughs> my favorite angel of Charlie's. I'm impressed. Hmm. You have a nice smile. Well, thank you. Um, look, I'm really sorry, but I gotta go. My parking yeah, meter's gonna run out. Oh, yeah, yeah, they don't play out here. No, but um, we can keep in contact if you'd like to. Um, if you can take my yeah. number quickly. Absolutely. It's 213-545-7777. Uh -huh. Got it. Call me. Bye-bye, Kate.
<laughs> nah. Nah, man, come on. <laughs> Tell me you didn't get the number. Then I would be lying to you, my friend. Oh, man. You see, everyone gets turned down. But the great ones, they never expect to be turned down. Ah. Uh, hope it happens to me soon. Ah, uh, in due time, in due time. <laughs> but for now, let's see what's happening with these sisters out here. Yeah. This episode might be a bit more predictable. Let's go. All right. Hey, uh, excuse me. How you doing? My name is uh, Eric. I was one. It's a nice dog you got there. Oh, oh. Check this out. Oh, check this. Bring the lip. Yeah, yeah. I like this. Hey, how you doing? I'm cool. Hey, uh, can I talk to you for a minute? Sure, but you'd be wasting your time. Very, very uncalled for, <laughs> but it proves my theory. Yeah, well, we're going to meet a cool sister. I'm confident about that. Oh, yeah, they're out here. Mm -hmm. yeah. Just few and far in between. You know, I mean, they say the same thing about us, too, you know. But at least we give them the chance to find out that we ain't about shit. Yeah, you got a point. <laughs> well, what about Christian women? Yeah, what about them? They have sex, too. I know that. I'm just saying, you know, maybe they might be nicer, you know, easier to approach. Yeah, maybe. I mean, some of the biggest freaks I know are Christian women. I do need to get back in the church. Yeah, let me, uh, let me let that thought marinate. Yeah, you let that marinate, like steak. What's up, man? What's happening, boy? Oh, you know how it is. Me and my yeah. girl need a little something to get us by, that's all. Okay. Hold on, dog. You know I got you. Okay. Trina, I'm in the bedroom and put on some clothes or something until I finish. All right. You know this nigga Pippin, thirsty as fuck. I don't want to look for that you and shit. My nigga. My nigga. Come on in. Where's yeah. Cap? Oh, not much, man. See, you got your nice little super fly hookup. Yeah, you already know, man. What I do? I am super fly, nigga. Okay, you yeah. You already know, You've man. always had that style about you. Yeah, man. So, you know, what, so what it do, man? What can I do man, for I you? A, I just need to double that seedless, and we good. That's oh, all. Man, you ain't saying nothing. I'm mm. you gonna do my stash. Okay. You know, do your thing, big homie. Here you go. Some of the finest we got, baby. Blow your motherfucking mind. My man. That's coach, man. There you go. Good looking, big homie. Huh? Yes. Hey, you speaking my language, pal. Yeah, I can smell it. Rain, sleet, snow. Shit, you know where to go. Fuck with me, man. Oh, yeah. yeah. What's up, man? You straight? What's up? I'm with good. You? I'm good. What's up? Hey, you know I got some of them new Niagara, my nigga. The Nahu? Niagara, nigga, you know. Make your girl had a waterfall. You know what I'm talking about? Same blue pill, bigger effect. You know what I'm talking about? Mm, I'm trying to follow you. Lil' Pimp, come on, man. 
The shit how you shit harder than Chinese arithmetic, man. I'm serious, hey. man. The motherfucker be hard. Nigga, <laughs> no, nigga look, be on I'm concrete good. status all I'm night. I'm good, homeboy. I'm good with what I got just right here. I'm good. Look, man, this shit is dope, man. I'm trying to get you on these motherfuckers. Check this out. If you don't believe me, I'm, I'm going to throw you a couple of them, man, just so you can try out on me, my nigga. Try out on who? Come on, I'm fucking with you. I'm fucking with you, big homie. I'm fucking with you. Take these motherfuckers, though. Nigga, your girl gonna thank me, man. All you gonna need is one, though, man. Just one. I guarantee you, man, you're gonna change that bitch life. If you take both of them, you're gonna end that bitch life. You're gonna put her in a coma and blow her back out or something, man. Oh, yeah, but some of the hoes I fuck with need to be put in a coma. Yeah, I know. You got some heavy bitches, my nigga. Uh, hey. They don't smell. Good looking, man. Yeah, good, good looking, man. Right. I'm gonna I'm I'm tear it. Take it to the next level, man. Take the game to the whole nother level with one of these, man. You say one? All you need is one. Your girl gonna be walking bow legged and pigeon toe like mine. Uh, say what? Yeah. Uh, so that's why she jumped up out the, the sofa, okay? This bitch walking around like she constipated. They call me Mr. X Lax. Oh, stop it, mama. My you know what man. I'm gonna check that oil, pal. Good looking, homie. Hey, fuck with me, though. You know what I'm talking about? Next week, I'm supposed to have some good, man. You know, my white boy from Hermosa Beach got some. Um. I'm with that, man. I'll let you when you get off that break. Show, my nigga. Trina. Oh, what you got in your pocket? Oh, that ain't nothing but a little cheese. <laughs> <laughs> Wrong. It's dinner. I, I I thought you was cooking though. I, mm -mm -mm. I changed my mind. Oh, like that? Uh, yeah, I deserve it. What? How you figure? Cause I feed you, I fuck you, and I don't fuck with you. So two, three equals four. What? <clears throat> Whatever, man. Check this out. You don't cook. You know what? I think you just getting too comfortable because I moved in here after a month of dating and you got the coochie on the first night, so you just slipping now like you. Look, look, baby, how long, yeah, how long we been dating? Trina, how long we been dating, baby? What you mean? We been fucking around for what, like three months now? And yes, I said it, fucking around because we ain't dated for shit, okay? And if we gonna start dating, we gotta start doing the things that people that date do, okay? You know, you always tripping with your little black woman neck and shit, baby. You know I'll take you to the movies and shit, but damn, what the fuck a nigga gonna spend all that bread for when I get all the bootlegs before they hit the theater? Dante, a little effort. That's all I'm asking. A little effort. Can you do that for me? Is that too much to ask? No, no, for you, no, 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 never, no. No, baby. You know I got you. Yeah, you got me, but you need to figure out how to keep me, okay? Train, train, look, look. For real, baby. Don't be like that, man. Come on. What restaurant you want to go to? Where, where you want to eat at? Wherever you want to go. For real? Yeah. Whatever place I want to go to. That's what I said, baby. I went and got the hometown buffet. <laughs> <laughs> That's what I'm talking about. They got the bomb ass mashed potatoes. And and it's Rib Wednesday. Bernard, I just wanted to let you know that I was divided about asking you over tonight because I don't really know you. It probably goes against my better judgment, but I guess you have to live a little, right? I'm harmless. Uh, so you say. <laughs> I'm new to the dating game, you know. After being married for six years, I'm a little rusty with all this stuff. Well, I'm here to help you work out all of the kinks. <laughs> like I said on the phone, there'll be no hanky-panky, mister. All right, okay. I'm cool with that. I'm serious. We have to get to know each other first. Plus, I have two kids to worry about. And where are the kids, by the way? They're with my mother for the weekend. And you do trust your mother, right? Of course. <laughs> then you don't have to worry about the kids, then. <laughs> Look, you know exactly what I mean. So let's not even go there. How about some wine to break up this monotonous conversation? <laughs> sure. 
I hope you like red because that's all I have. No, red is fine. Well, unless you want to go to the store, we can get something else. No, no, red will suffice. Okay, usually I have white as well, but I tend to buy more red because sometimes I like to have a drink after a meal. <laughs> My girl Kim, she likes Merlot, as she calls it. <laughs> you probably don't even drink wine, do you? What do you like to drink when you get your sip on? Some of that yak? Isn't it funny how so many black men like Hennessy? Black men ought to buy stock in that company, don't you think? <laughs> <clears throat> That wasn't funny, huh? Just pour the wine, please. Oh, okay. One for you. And one for me. How about a toast? Here's to moving forward. Let's hope so. Oh, stop it, silly. <clears throat> uh, Deborah, mm -hmm. if it's your goal to never be intimate with me, then you're doing a pretty damn good job at accomplishing that. Why would I ever want that? I love sex. <laughs> Well, right about now, I don't. Oh. Hey there. Hi, how are you? I'm good. Come on in. I just uh, want to apologize for being late. Yeah, that's mighty black of you. I'm sorry? Uh, nothing is just the same. You know what I'm saying? No. <laughs> <laughs> You have a really nice place here. Why, well, thank you, my dear. Hey, can I uh, take your coat and your purse? Why, sure. How hospitable of you. <laughs> mm. I uh, don't usually go to the guy's house on the first date. And that would be mighty unwhite of you. I'm sorry. Have a seat. Thank you. Can I get you something to drink? Sure. Um, how about a little Henny and Coke? Y you're kidding, right? Oh, no, absolutely not. It's my top choice when I want to get my drink on. You've got to be joking. Are you perpetuating the stereotype that all black men love cognac? Oh, heavens no. I, I wouldn't make fun of the black race as I would never do that. I just really like that drink. And how do you even know that I have some? Well, do you? <laughs> yes. 
I do, but it's not because I'm black. It's because I just so happen to like to drink. Okay, yeah. Uh, do you want that on the rocks or straight? Straight, please. Gotcha. Oh, I just love your African artwork. Ah, thank you. I'm glad to see that you are so open-minded about black culture. Oh, it's second nature for me. Oh, really? Well, you know, um, you're the first white girl that I've ever hung with. You've got to be kidding me. No, it's true. Am I the first black guy that you've ever hung with? Hell to the na. <laughs> um, uh, um, well, how many have you hung with before? Two, three, maybe four? Alex, I've only dated black guys. So you haven't even seen your own kind naked? Black man, Henny? What do you call this? Are you talking about your dick? Real white women say cock. Oh, so I'm not a real woman now? Oh no. Well, not the black girl ghetto neck roll. Do you say fellatio or head? Head. Do you swallow? Hell no. What's your credit score? 645. Oh, no, no, Kate. Okay, you, you got to go. You got black girl attitude and tendencies. Whoa, whoa, what is going on? I thought you liked me because I'm down with the brothers. No. Kate, you have messed up my white girl fantasy. You got to go. Good evening. No. I just can't believe we're standing outside a church waiting to pick up women, man. It was your idea, and I'm beginning to think it was a good one. See, it's like a virtual nightclub, minus all of the pretentious, attention-seeking women. Yeah, it might have been a good idea in theory, but now that we're actually doing it, man, I feel like I'm amongst the bottom of society or something. I mean, we could have at least had the decency to go inside and fake it, you know, attend service or something. We could have both used the blessings, I'll tell you that. If you want, we can both bow our heads and pray for beautiful Christian women to fall into our laps. <laughs> I'm serious. You know, who knows, maybe if I join a new church home, my luck will turn around. I don't mean to rain on your spiritual parade right now, but we have to take our own futures into our own hands. That means both our career aspirations and our women aspirations. I just don't know if this is where I need to be channeling my energy, Alex. How long ago did that chick leave you? You got a point. Okay, all right, get yourself together. Here they come. I am together. Oh, oh, oh. All right. I'm going to leave this one up to you. Uh, excuse me. Yes. Hey, I was just wondering if I could talk to you for a second. Um, yeah, but make it quick. My stomach is growling. You, you oh, right. Uh, well, I'm um, Eric. 
Uh, nice to meet you. Tanya. <laughs> um, it was a moving service, wasn't it? Were you really in service? What? <laughs> yes, yes. Uh, we were sitting in the back. Well, I was in the back, too. Well, it's a big church. Big church. It's a big church. Uh, huge. I just find it surprising that two apparently single men as yourselves would find the pastor's service on discouraging premarital sex so moving. And even more surprising that you'd be right outside the church after such a message trying to holler and flirt with women. We're not trying to holler and flirt at, at women. No, we're out here searching for people to um, fellowship with, like, like yourself, you know, because we're starting an abstinence group. Is that right? What my friend means is that he loved to uh, put your phone number and stay in contact, get a bite to eat. Pray a little bit. No. Thank you, Dom. I've already got somebody for that. Y'all are true. <laughs> Have a blessed day. <laughs> you too. You too. Well, that worked great. What's next? Just gotta keep punching my alley. Punching? Yeah. Yeah, well, at least you got the number from that white girl. What's up with that? So, What's up, Kim? I mean, this is our third date, you know. Well, what do you mean, what's up? Well, I mean, you know, we've been hanging out rather consistently, you know what I mean? I'm just trying to get an idea of where this thing is going. Well, it's going. We'll continue to go out and see what happens. Okay, all right, that's mm -hmm. cool. But, you know, I'm just saying, I don't want to be strung along if this thing isn't going anywhere. You know. Now, if you're asking about the nine nine. Then I'd have to say, no, no. Let's just wait and see what happens. Okay, all yeah. right, all right. I mean, that's cool, you know, but I mean, I'm saying we haven't even so much as kissed yet. You know what I mean? I mean, I just gotta keep it 100 with you. I'm the type of guy that likes to know where I stand with someone I'm dating. You know what I mean? Okay, well, first of all, Brian, we're yeah. not dating. We're just hanging out. And secondly, I mean, sometimes these things just take time to develop. Now, you're not just gonna fall in love overnight. Yeah. Right, right, you're right, yeah, you're right, you know, take a little time, take a little time, fall in love, you're right, okay, but I mean, you know, um, you do like the dinners, the movies, and the concerts and everything, right? Yeah, they cool. Oh, okay, all right. We'll just continue to have fun and see where it goes. Okay. Okay. Um, that's cool, that's cool. Hey, um, mm -hmm. I almost forgot, mm -hmm. um, I gotta get gas in the morning, and I don't have any cash on me. And my darn ATM card just keeps acting up. I just haven't had time to go down to the bank and get it checked out yet. Okay. All right. So, what do you need? Well, if you can loan me $20 until I can get down to the bank, mm -hmm. you know, I would greatly appreciate it. Greatly appreciate it. Shoot, you ain't said nothing but a thing. Come on now, I got you. Come on now, there you go, right oh. there. Take that. <sighs> Girl, you know what? Gas expensive. Went up another fifteen cent last week. Hold on, let me help you out there. Really. Oh, right there. thank you, Brian. You know I greatly appreciate this. I really do. I gotta fix this freaking ATM card, and then I'll be real cool. Cause... Come on, girl, it ain't no problem, a. Hey. There's what friends are for. Ooh, well, you know what? I gotta get going right now. I gotta get up really early for work in the morning. Okay, all right, wait, hold mm -hmm. on now, hold on. I mean, that's cool and everything, but you know, before you go. Mm. Oh, we are not ready for that just yet. But I thought. Brian, Brian, now is not the time. Now you just keep on spending them. I mean, waiting. 
And you never know. I gotta go now, sweetie. Never know. Oh yeah, you never know. I know something. I know I'm about to tear that up. That's what I know. Shoot, you never know. I know something. She tripping. Oh yeah. Yeah, second yes. thoughts, didn't you? Oh, nope. I almost forgot my lunch for tomorrow. <laughs> She trying to flirt with the food. Come get the lunch and flirt with me thing. That's what she doing. Okay. All right, I'm going to flirt with you too. I know what she trying to do. What's up, boo? I'm just checking out some jobs, baby. Think it's time I got a legitimate hustle, you know? Nigga need his whip fix. Plus, I want to be able to do some more things for you, baby. Aw, uh, baby. That's what's up. That's what I'm talking about. Yeah, baby. <laughs> so what's up? What you get from the 99 cents, though? Oh, uh, you know, just a few little things. Cleaning items. I thought I might hook the house up a little bit. You know, starting with the bathroom, because you know your aim is whack. <laughs> Mm -hmm. Hey, but I know just how to hit your spot, bullseye, every time. Mm, speaking of that, I bought these for you. And I also got these for me, just to stay on point. Dual colored latex condoms? Home pregnancy test. Damn, baby, I didn't know they sold all that shit at the 99 cents store. Yes, they do. And you know, you've been slipping lately, so no more raw dogging it for you. That's bullshit. I know you better get your ass down there to that clinic and get some more of them peas eels. No, you better get your ass down to the Social Security office and get you a jizzop so you can get some money to buy those pills. They ain't free. <laughs> oh, you, you just got all the answers, huh? You're mm -hmm. a fool with it. Let me tell you something. Mm -hmm. What? Look, let me tell you something. What you gonna buy them for? <laughs> you gotta see if they work. She paid! I can't believe she paid! I can't believe a woman actually paid for a date! Bernard, you are crazy. <laughs> hey. It's hard enough to get a woman to pick up your phone call, let alone a tag. Well, it's the least I could do after that first uncomfortable meeting we had. Yeah, it was quite interesting. Normally, I would have deleted you from my phone. I'm glad you showed patience with me because, again, I am reacclimating myself to the wonderful world of dating. Mm, I understand that, but I don't think you understand what a monumental moment this is. <laughs> you know what? I got to call my mother. OK, you can stop now. I get it. <laughs> But I really do appreciate the gesture, Deborah, really. I take it you haven't had that many successful dates recently. Success for me is getting a smile and a thank you out of a woman. But, you know, dating for me isn't a pastime, nor is it a recreational sport. You know, but you got to do it. Now, marriage. Marriage, that seems easy. This coming from a man who has yet to walk down that path. Marriage has its benefits, but not guarantees. You wake up every day to the same person. You argue quite frequently. You have sex less frequently, and then you... Get a divorce? Yep, that's my story. But don't let me discourage you, though. Sometimes you have to... throw it out there and see what you get. Sometimes you'll come back with the catch of your life, or... Just something you'll have to throw back into the sea. Come on, let's get out of here. Okay. Spend some more of your money. <laughs> okay. So how's the job, honey? Oh, um, it's going well. No, actually, I have some, some interviews I'm pretty optimistic about. Mm. And the lady, honey? Um, just, you know, 
I ain't been doing that lately, you know. I think I'm going to just sit back, you know, and just see how things happen. How about you? Uh, I got a job interview this week for a temp position that could lead to a permanent one. Uh, right now, I take anything that I can get. This ball on the budget, it ain't the business. <laughs> I feel you there. Yeah, my severance is almost fully depleted. Hey, you ever notice how the job hunting process and dating parallel each other so closely? Nah, I can't say I do. Yeah, see, when you go out on a job interview, mm -hmm. you submit your resume and you're evaluated based upon that criteria. When you go out on a date, you're evaluated based upon your own personal proverbial resume. Oh, and, and you're both generally selected from a big pool of applicants on both sides. Exactly. Yeah, you got to go through a bunch of bullshit on both sides in hopes of being selected. <laughs> and the more interviews you get, the better your chances. Yeah. True. But unfortunately, neither employers nor women seem to be hiring niggas these days. <laughs> Alex. Case in point. Mm. This fine Mexican chick back here. Now, she's probably like most of these Latin babes out here, that they would rather talk to some shaved-head cholo with no ambition as opposed to a universally handsome brother like ourselves, full of potential. What? <laughs> I don't know about that one, Alex. Alex. <laughs> no? <laughs> I don't think so. We're going to get a number, then. Who, me? No, you. Go over there and give it a try. See how far you get. Well, I mean, shoot, why not? I mean, <laughs> sister's been brutally rejecting me. Let's see how the Mexicanas do. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna go. Como estás? Muy bien, gracias. ¿Y tú? Uh, yo, yo, Tom Bien. Yeah. Uh, my name is Eric. Hi, Eric. I'm Martha. Nice to meet you. Uh, well, good to meet you. Looks like you're uh, reading a book there. Uh, I'm just studying. I'm a nursing student, actually. Uh, a student? Oh, oh, that's good. That's good. Yeah, no, that's that's pretty cool. Yeah. And you study and said nursing? Yeah. yeah. Okay, because you got to get A's to be the top nurse. Got to get A's. In the hospital. <laughs> yeah. Um, uh, I'll probably let you get back to studying then. Uh, it's nice to, meet, nice to meet you, but maybe I can call you sometime, though. I'm sorry. I have a boyfriend. Oh, don't be sorry. No, that's good. That's actually a good thing, because I like when, you know, man and woman getting together. You know, man and woman come together. <laughs> So, right, that's how civilizations are created. <laughs> okay, so, cool, Marta. Eric. You remember, that's, that's good. So I think, uh, I, I, like I said, I'll let you get back to being the top nurse. Bye. Okay. So how'd it go? Good. Yeah, really, no, really, really good. You know, she was, she was, she was feeling me. <laughs> she was really feeling me about that. She had a boyfriend. Yeah, what can you do? <laughs> well, my friend, rejection is a part of life. Unfortunately, we seem to almost always be on the receiving end of it. Right, but, um, you know, she had a boyfriend. <laughs> so, I hardly call that rejection. Are you happy? I'm happy. Are you sure you're happy? Yes, I'm sure I'm happy. Are you happy? I'm cool. What does that mean, I'm cool? It means I'm content. I like some of the guys I'm dating. I mean, most of them. 
they all serve a purpose. I can't just easily narrow in on one man like you. Most men X themselves out. Remember, Ricky, that guy I met at the gym and then regretted giving my number to? Vaguely. Mm -hmm. He called me asking me to come through. When I told him I had the kids, he said, so what? Put him to sleep. And you know what I said? <laughs> what? Nothing. I hung up on his ass. <laughs> <laughs> Thank God for caller ID. I just hope he gets the message when I don't return his phone calls. I mean, girl, some men just don't get it, right? It's like, if you called me two times or more and I have not called you back yet, it means I'm not interested in you. <laughs> <laughs> Is it still okay to give out fake numbers or did that play out in the 90s? Deborah, now you have to do whatever you have to do to shake off the undesirables. Why does dating have to be so difficult? Was marriage that more simpler? Hmm. Just take care of you, all right? Yeah. That seems selfish. <laughs> you know, Bernard and I went out the other day. Oh, really? Now, wait a second. I thought you messed that up. Uh, he understood this whole dating thing is a major adjustment for me, and as a good faith gesture, I paid for the date. You did what? Okay, did you go on a coffee date? No, we <sighs> went to a show and then lunch afterwards. Oh. Debra, women don't have to pay for dates because we don't have to. It's about supply and demand. And men demand what we have to supply them with. And you know what that is. And you gotta make them work for it. <laughs> this is too difficult for me. Oh my goodness, <laughs> you're paying for a date. <laughs> come on, pick up. Pick up, come on, come on, come on, come on. Mm -mm -mm. Alex. What's up, man? Uh, nothing much. Just getting ready for my big date coming through. Oh, okay, okay. Well, you know, uh, I'm gonna let you get back to that. But, but, hey, before I do, got some good news for you, man. About your boy. Shoot, I'm listening. <laughs> All right. Well, uh, you know, speaking of dates, um, I met a cool girl, man. A real cool girl. And guess what? What's up? She black. <laughs> she black, man. I mean, she she beautiful, cool, down to earth, real good personality. And um, man, she act like she got her own stuff. Cool. And man, look, you never believe it. I got a second interview for this job, man. It's a real good one too. Pays more than the last one. Hey, that's uh, that's that's tight, man. Um, yeah, it seems like you got things moving in the right direction. Looks like you. What are you doing your thing? Well, look, let me know how it goes. Oh, yeah, no doubt. I will. I will. <laughs> uh, um, you know, let me let you get back to your business, man. Handle yours. And uh, I'm going to just get ready for this big day tomorrow. Okay. Cool. All right, man. What's happening, Alex? Bertha, hurry up, come on in. Have a seat on the couch. On the couch, Bertha, not in the kitchen. Oh, uh, okay, cool. Wow, I've never seen your place with the lights on before. It looks flat. Uh, 
Yeah, I just like to uh, conserve energy, y'all. No need to waste any energy if we don't have to. Oh, okay. Well, I'm feeling that. That's real with your cute energy conscious self. <laughs> what? You got the yak out? <laughs> but you ain't got no food to go with this drink because I'm working with an empty stomach over here. You sure about that? Huh? It's, uh, it's 11 o'clock, so... <sighs> Yeah, I guess you're right. It is kind of late for me to be munching. Speaking of late, how come you always inviting me over so late? Well, you know I'm working the swing shift these days, uh, two to ten, so. Oh, okay. Well, let me get my hair right before I hook you up. You know how I do. Ooh, <laughs> I'm finna get faded. <laughs> I might have to crash at your place tonight if I do. <clears throat> I got a job! Yes! <laughs> And I got a date. Yes, 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 I got a job. Yes, yes. So, so, I guess it's safe to assume you don't have a boyfriend, right? I mean, hey, you, you never know these days. Just let me know if I talk too much. Um, I have a tendency to do that. It's, it's this nervous thing I got. <laughs> yeah. You ever been on a date and, um, you just dying inside to know what the other person's thinking. Yeah. And this whole dating process can be a pretty painful thing, right? And trying to figure out, trying to figure out uh, somebody's dislikes and their likes and, and hoping that you don't say the wrong thing. I mean, I like bowling and, and you like bowling. I like Mexican food and you like Mexican food. You like the missionary position? I love the missionary position. <laughs> that, that was a joke. I, I, I was just seeing if you were still with me. Oh, God. I, I hope I didn't say the wrong thing and screw this up. Did I? <sighs> okay, because it, it's this dry sense of humor I got, you know. It, it, some people don't pick up on it immediately. <laughs> I guess that's why I'm probably a relationship type of guy, you know. I, I mean, because I, in moments like this, I feel silly right now, you know. Should I? So, so we're cool then? So, am I going to get a second date? Cool. I don't know, this shirt little. Maybe they'll give me a bigger one when I get off probation. He's a good baby. that you over there preparing, baby? Mm, just a little something before your first day at work, you know. Is, is that what I think it is? A little something. Is that, is that what I think it is? A little something. The OG fried bologna, baby, is that that processed meat? That's the fuck I'm talking about, baby. Damn, if I'd have known it was going down like that, a nigga would have been got a job. I ain't had one of them motherfuckers since I was a little kid. Okay, baby. Shit. I'm so proud of you, boo. Mm. Um, get your orange juice over there on the counter. Sure, baby. 
Don't even trip though, you know. Hey, even though a nigga got this little part-time job, you know your boy's still gonna be out here grinding. I'm talking about putting it in every night, every day. You know, I'm just a little 62 ain't nothing, baby. Niggas don't even get up till four o'clock anyway, so I'm just gonna get this legal paper in, and at 2.05, every motherfucking day, I'm on the block getting my cheese, <laughs> squeezing these pillows out on their ass. Baby, they want this cook. Mm-mm, you crazy. Come get this sandwich. Shit, you ain't gotta tell me twice, baby. Thank you. You're welcome. Damn, mm. I like you so much. <laughs> <laughs> like <laughs> shit, you know what I'm talking about. Hey, I'm a real baby. What? It's real shit. Mm. You might be a keeper. <laughs> I mean, you keep up the good work. Please, you already know this shit right here. This shit right here, nigga. This shit is the best. Yeah, okay, don't yeah. no play. Let's see. I'm gonna check your progress report out. Been selling for less. I mean, I got this temp job. I got a bunch of regular broads on my team. I gotta step my game up. Yeah, no, I know. I mean, I was feeling the same way. Like I was, I should be further along in life or something. But then I got this job, man. That I'm starting next week, and the girl that I'm kicking it with now. I mean, I'm feeling her. Yeah, you know, I feel like things are back on track now. You know. You know, I like you, Eric. You remind me of me, the way I used to be. Nice guy. But nice guys, well, you know the rest. The corporate America and these broads out here, they will chew you up and spit you out when they're done with you. Yeah, I mean, I know what you're saying, I know, but I gotta be me, man. B and you ain't working, dawg. I mean, you, you dripping with weak sauce. I mean, look at you, man. Whoa, what's wrong with me? Yo, you got to start thinking outside the box, man. Come on, live a little bit. Sack up. <laughs> you falling in love with six you just met two weeks ago? Come on. <laughs> I mean, for real. Man, you know, I mean, that's what I want. I mean, what's wrong with that? I don't get it. I don't see what's wrong. Are you making my allergies act up? Your allergies? Yeah. Because I'm allergic to relationships. And I'm damn sure allergic to falling in love with a girl I just met two weeks ago. Eric, for a man, there's absolutely nothing to be gained by being in a relationship. Oh, I detect a little bit of anxiety over there. Oh, 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 case I see you sweating all up in the neck and chest area. What's going on? You feeling kind of uneasy or something? Yeah, whatever, man. That's... Okay. I'm a fair man. I'm a fair guy. How about this? Give me one good reason for a man to ever settle down, let alone now. Companionship. Seriously? Yeah. That's the best reason you can come up with. Eric, I have a new companion every night in my bed. Alex, I don't get you, man. I mean, some woman hurt you, man? <laughs> like, somewhere along the line, some lady just absolutely do you wrong or something? Is this where you get your disdain for women from? No, I don't get hurt. I brings the pain, dog. Ah. You see? I brings the pain. See, the last time a woman came up to me, chick come up to me talking about some sort of relationship, <laughs> she left out of my crib with my size 13s attached to her behind. Yeah, chick named Allison. Ah, uh, yeah. Yeah, oh, Allison. She was all right, but, uh, She's okay, but I mean, you know, I just kept her around because she was a beast in the bed. <sighs> me, oof. Yeah, she, um, and she bought me stuff too. 
Mm. I decorated half my apartment. Shit. <laughs> <laughs> Allison, huh? Yeah. Yeah, I mean, that's a, that's a common name. Yeah, so I mean, she's pretty cool though, right? Yeah, she's straight. <sighs> she's straight, uh, just not relationship material. Now, if, if I ever settle down, she gotta be a dime. Ten piece, you feel me? Yeah. Yeah, no, 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 man, no. You know what, Alex, man? I ain't trying to knock your style or nothing like that, but I think I'm a one woman at a time kind of dude. That's just what makes me comfortable, man, really. <laughs> cool. Cool. But when your little heart gets stepped on by a stiletto heel, don't come running to me, okay? Hope to God I don't have to. Yeah, so. Oh, here you go. Here you go. Appreciate it, man. Hey, you know what? I was thinking about having a little uh, get together in my house. You know what I mean? Like, celebrate my ventures. Got a new job. Had some people come over. What you think? Yeah, I'm down with that. I'll uh, invite a few people if you don't mind. You know what I'm saying? We make the most of it. Yeah, all right. More than merry. Cool. All right, cool. Let's Good. Do it. Oh, I can't believe you said that. Mm. Say the craziest thing sometimes. <laughs> <laughs> this is some good coffee. Oh, well, yeah, I guess we got a good batch. I don't know. So this is one of your favorite spots? Uh, yeah. Yeah? Yeah, no, I, I'd say this is my spot. Really? Yeah. Well, I have to bring you back here sometime. Quality day. <laughs> good coffee, good conversation. Mm -hmm. Of course, good people. I'm serious. Swing. <laughs> I do that. Stop playing. I do, I do that. No, you don't. I say do, I say clink. Well, you know, <laughs> good minds think alike. Great, great. We're great. Yeah. <laughs> clink. <laughs> mm. 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 Good, good. <laughs> you know, I really never thought I'd be eating one of these things. Why not? Oh, well, you know, I mean, buying hot dogs from a corner cart ain't necessarily the most sanitary thing in the world, you know? <laughs> Ouch, moo <Luke> killer. <laughs> I'm just saying, you know, the health department probably don't go around slinging licenses to people selling meat products on these small infested streets of LA, you know? <laughs> Ouch, moo killer. I'm sorry. That's all right, because this is way too good to stop eating it now, right? Try it with so the jalapenos, oh, try yeah, it with the jalapenos. Yeah, yeah. Ooh, it's good, right? <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, I love it down here. Uh, nice, I like this. Yeah. It makes it feel like the East Coast a little bit. A little bit. I like it. Good. Come on. Well, I guess my diet's gone out the window today. <laughs> what are you talking about? I thought we were living a little. <laughs> Point well taken. Okay. <laughs> You know? Hmm. Who knew you can meet such a sweetheart at a gas station? Well, I just say thank God your gas cap was stuck. Otherwise, I never would have approached you. But I was checking you out, though. Yeah? Mm-hmm. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, you know, there was this uh, homeless guy that pumped my gas before that. Mm. And he was a little heavy on the twisting. <laughs> oh, well, thank you, Joe, homeless guy. <laughs> <laughs> Otherwise, I never would have met lady at pump number six. Thank you, gentlemen, at pump number seven. Coffee, hot dogs, yogurt? What? I'm a cheap date. Oh, no, <laughs> no. <laughs> well, wait, you couldn't have spent more than, what, $20? Actually, 21. Uh, <laughs> but no more than 40. <laughs> Who's counting, right? You are. Uh, uh, <laughs> yeah, but um, the chemistry is great. And I'd say that's priceless. Indeed it is. Yeah. <laughs> Look, listen, um, I got probably less than two weeks before I had to go back to work. And I'd really like it if, I mean, if we could spend maybe every other day together until then. 
If that's not asking too much. You know, it may not be enough. Yeah. Honestly, I'm very proud of you, Rick. Oh, thanks, buddy. Yeah, you know. What you talking about? Hello, man. Hey, what's hey, going on? Uh, nothing at all. Oh, I want to introduce y'all, my friend Alex. Alex, this is Larry and Big Al. Hey, the boys from way, way back, man. Like, <laughs> way back, man. Hey, <laughs> hey, fellas, I'm gonna check with y'all later. All right, all right, let's go check with some other folks. Yeah, I'm wondering where all the white women and the cocaine is up in here, man. Eric's a white collar brother now, so we need some of them white collar party favors. You know what I'm saying? Well. I'll take the white girls, and you can keep that cocaine. Man, it was a joke, bro. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I knew that. You didn't know shit. Hey, Deborah. Hey. <laughs> uh, who's your friend? Bernard. Eric. Eric Bernard. Oh, it's good to meet you, bro. Hi. <laughs> oh, this is Alex. How you doing? Hi. Uh, by the way, my boss hired a white boy. Ah. Well, congratulations on the new job, Eric. What's <laughs> up? Thank you. Thank you. So how much is it paying? What Kim means is that she's looking to advance from her current job. Oh, oh, yeah, well, um, well, let me get a little more time under my belt and then maybe build some rapport with the key players and I can see if there's some openness for you. Oh, thank you. Yeah, thank yeah, you. yeah no Don't forget your boy. Oh, yeah, no, no doubt, man. <laughs> well, um, it's good to meet you, man. Likewise, brother. Yeah, y'all keep on enjoying yourselves. Thanks for coming. Cool cats. <laughs> so, Kim, you're still single, right? Oh, no, no. <laughs> Not my type. Why? Too young? No. Too broke. You are shame. What? <laughs> now, Connie and Janine. Now, with these two, you see, right now I'm still in a friendship zone. Mm. That's only because I brought up the idea of a threesome. Yeah. I'm still trying now. Now, if you want, I can counsel it. Uh, yeah, I mean, pick one. <laughs> I, I'm good, man. You know. Eric, 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 Eric. You're glowing and it's showing. Uh, you're still thinking about this wonderful girl you've been ranting and raving about, I guess. Yeah, uh, I guess that's why I'm so elated, man. <laughs> but look. Why don't we just at least meet these two beautiful, beautiful young ladies? And why are you still officially single? Can't hurt. Yeah, well, I doubt I'll change my mind, man. But this girl's special. Come on. Connie! Janine! Connie. Hi. Oh, so beautiful. Thank you. And Janine. Oh. This is the man of the hour, my good friend, Eric. Hey, nice to meet you, ladies. Nice to meet you, too. Nice yeah. to meet you. Nice place you have here. Oh, it's something, you know, whatever. Yeah, how long have you been here? About two years now. Yeah. Hmm. Do you know if there's any other vacancies? Because we're looking for a place. Yeah. Oh, oh you're roommates? Mm -hmm. That's what I was trying to tell you. Hmm. Oh, OK, well, um, I talk to the manager oh. and see what he says. Okay. Okay. <laughs> mm. Connie and Janine are budding actresses. And bartenders by night. Oh, uh, dual personalities. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you don't have to be a star, baby, to be in my show. <laughs> you like that? Wow. Alex is a nut. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> see, we like our guys more tame and submissive. Oh, oh, okay. Well, um, oh, shoot. Uh, I'll get it. Nice to meet you. Wonder who that is. <laughs> hey, come here. You smell so good. Come on, in. Everybody, everybody, this is Allison. Hi. Hi, guys. Yeah. Wow. Wow. Small world. But uh, y'all know each other? So this is who you were so big on, huh? I gotta tell you, I was expecting someone a little different. Eric, um, 
Alex and I used to date. Oh, is that what you want to call it? Eric, <laughs> you know how I get out. Dog, I don't mean to burst your bubble or anything like that, but I used to beat it up savagely. Mm. I'm talking, I used to go gorilla on it. Just... I get the point, Alex. Mm. But she's cool, though. Yeah, yeah. And very giving. It's so funny that I'm not really surprised. But, you know, you guys on the same level, you know, you know low self-esteem and all that. Oh, did she try that trick on you yet with the ice cubes? You oh. know what? You truly are one arrogant, self-centered son of a bitch. One day you're going to find yourself in life all alone, too. But until that day, you need to get out. Get out? Yeah, get out! You gonna mess up our friendship over one mediocre chick? Dog, we not friends. And she's definitely not mediocre. Now get out! <laughs> okay. Excuse me, ladies. Used to date that guy? That's so disgusting. <laughs> this is um, way too uncomfortable for me. I gotta go, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Party's over. Go home. Hey. Hey. Allison. Hey. I didn't expect you back here. Well, I figured you guys might still be partying. And I felt guilty about running out that way. Oh. Yeah, I mean, everybody pretty much left not too long after you, um, after you walked out. It was a pretty awkward moment. Look, I, I want to apologize to you. For what? Hey, you didn't do anything. For my, um, association with my former associate. I was vulnerable. I had a very low point back then when I was dealing with him. Ugh. It was uh, not yeah. me, you know. <clears throat> um, you know what? Former and uh, associate are two good words to probably describe my relationship with him, too. I mean, hey, you know, we met for a reason. And I think I can move on past it. If you can. I'm way past it. I just, uh, I look at it as killing time until I met the person that I really wanted to spend my time with. Hint, hint. <laughs> <laughs> my thoughts exactly. <laughs> I mean, because every woman has a dog in her life. Mm -hmm. And our mutt is Alex. <laughs> <laughs> All right, well... Let's forget about the past and move on into the future. Cool. Cool. <laughs> cool. cool. The future it is. <laughs> I can get that for you. Yeah.
you know, um, before we move into the future, um, I gotta ask you something. Could you help me clean this place up? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yes, I can. Yeah, my friend. Guys, we let go of that mm -hmm. first. And uh, where are your trash bags? Uh, they're in the kitchen. All right, I'll get them. No, okay, I'll get them. What? We can get them together. Come on. <laughs> But I got to have it. 